Hi, and welcome to NC Library's Don't Lose Sight of Avoiding Plagiarism. It's a cut and paste world, but if you aren't careful, you could find yourself accused of academic dishonesty. This video will define plagiarism, describe some common forms of plagiarism, and explain how to avoid it in your own work. Plagiarism can have serious consequences. At Niagara College, penalties can range from a grade of zero on an assignment to suspension from the college. Therefore, it's important to understand what plagiarism is and make an effort to avoid it. See the Academic Responsibility section of your student handbook and visit the Academic Honesty Practice on the Niagara College website for more information. What is plagiarism? In general, plagiarism consists of reusing ideas or words from another source into your work without crediting the original. There are many different forms of plagiarism. Some are obvious, for example, copying another person's work word for word, or changing the word slightly and including it in your own paper without providing a credit to the original. Providing incorrect or incomplete citations or citing false sources are also forms of plagiarism. You can even plagiarize your own work if you resubmit an assignment you created for a different class. The purpose of doing a research assignment is to come up with new ideas. You can build on your ideas, but you need to cite the original source. Here's another thing to keep in mind. Plagiarism also applies to media sources, such as videos and images, so don't forget to cite those too. Did you notice a theme in the previous examples? Plagiarism only occurs if the original source is not cited. Citing sources involves placing a short reference to the original work in the text of your paper, and a full reference in the list at the end. There are many different citation styles. Niagara College commonly uses APA and IEEE, but check with your instructor to see what you'll be using for your class. Citing your sources may seem like a lot of extra work, but NC Libraries is here to help. Items from NC Libraries databases have handy citation generators built right in. Citation generators are pretty great, but you should always proofread what they create. You can find examples of what citation should look like in our Citation and Plagiarism Guide. To find this guide, go to niagaracollege.ca slash library, and then choose the Citation and Plagiarism button at the top of our homepage. The most commonly used citation styles are each featured separately in this guide. For example, if you open the APA style page, you'll find links to some helpful APA specific style guides, as well as a page of in-text citation examples and of references list examples. You can compare these examples to any citations you have created to make sure there are no errors. The library also has many handbooks you can borrow with quick examples and formatting tips. There's more to citing than just avoiding plagiarism. References help validate your research and show how your work fits into the scholarly conversation of your topic. Check out some of our other videos and online modules at nclibraries.niagaracollege.ca slash information literacy slash tutorials to learn more about the research process. If you have any questions or would like to learn more about plagiarism, contact your campus library. Visit our website at niagaracollege.ca slash library for full contact information. Except for screenshots or otherwise indicated, graphics and photographs are courtesy of either unsplash.com or openclipart.org.